the project came about because we'd had lots of complaints with graffiti in the local area and uh, the community banded together and they wanted to do something about it and together we kind of developed this project to look at improving the area by painting the murals under the bridges. Part of uh remit was to try and incorporate as many people as possible. Designs were sent in, some of them were incorporated into our history mural and some of them were put into the children's mural to the south. Dan Wilson was the lead artist and he brought in a couple of other artists to work on the project and they all had different skills so that some were sort of photorealist artists and spent two days doing the Kingfisher and then other artists were able to take the pictures that the young people had drawn and then redraw them onto the wall which was, is just great because if the children think, oh man, that's my drawing, I've actually done that. The community is looking at other projects that they want to work on together as well, so it's really kick-started a campaign to improve the local area for everyone. Where we've actually managed to find more money and brought the artists back to carry on working on some of the other bridges. We asked our supporters to suggest animals and birds and plants and insects from the trap grounds. This is a way of sharing our enthusiasm about wildlife in a very visual and attractive way. Given what was there before, this horrible graffiti, it was not, not a very pleasant place to, to be underneath the bridges. Now, people bring visitors here to show them off. And I think it's made a sort of very suitable entry into Oxford.